Good morning, everyone. Myself, Mudli Dharadi. In this video, we are going to discuss about GitHub dashboard overview. Let's see the demo, okay? Earlier, we have created account, right? Now we can log in that uh, GitHub account. Just give that GitHub.com or GitHub, just enter GitHub. It is coming like HTTP as GitHub.com. Just click this one. Now we have option here, sign in, right? Just click this sign in. Earlier, we have created a with uh, username and email, right? right? Currently, I'm giving here mail ID. The username is unique. That is the reason it is showing. Uh, you can use either username or uh, email address. Okay. Now I'm here giving that password. Now enter here. If you observe here, we are logging with GitHub.com. Some of the use cases, if if you if you take that enterprise support in your organization, example company name is Tech Coral. Example example Tech Coral with Murli. Company name is Tech Quarrel with Murli. In real time, how will we connect the uh, GitHub? The GitHub coming like this. Instead of uh, here, HTTP GitHub.com, right? Instead of that one, HTTPS Tech Quarrel with Murli dot GitHub.com. If you take enterprise support, it will be like this. Okay. Currently, we are practicing for first, we are directly logging here. But in real time, based on company, if you take the enterprise support, might be that the URL will be like this. This one is Tech World with Middle is a company and dot GitHub dot. Okay, you can access with this particular URL. Got it right? Any questions now? Now right? Now, and one more thing, we logged with our mail ID password, right? In real time, we will be use our uh, ID credentials. Uh, if you join one of, one of the organization, you will get the um, email ID password, right? Using that email ID password, you will be logged in. Instead of logging with Gmail ID, you will be logging with your credentials. Okay, just for our practice purpose, we are created uh, with our email ID. But in real time, you have to use your company mail ID. Okay, fine. Next one, once you log in here, if you observe here in right side, we have a profile. Here you can see that which user. And if you see here your, your profile, you can able to, if you want to update, you can update here. Uh, repositories or projects, both are same. And here you can see how many contributions you have done in this particular last one year. You can, if you want to edit, uh, if you want to add it any profile also, uh, port also, you can add it here. If you click this one, here you can edit and you can upload your photo. And if you want to give any name, you can give it here. And if you want to display any public email ID, if you want to declare any biography, URL, company, Twitter, username, everything you can provide here if you want to update. Okay, and coming coming to the account, if you want to change username, you can change it. Okay, currently it is a uh, MM ready, sorry, DevOps and Murli 250, right? If you want to change, you can change it here, yeah, okay? And next one is appearance not required. Uh, appearance is nothing, but currently it is showing that uh, UA is uh, white color, right? If you required a uh, night mode, you can use this one. Yes. Yeah, if you see here, currently it is in this color, black. Currently, again, it is came back to white color. Okay. And if you if you want to see any notifications, you can see here that notification will send to devopsmodel.com. Okay. Okay. Here we can see the billing and planning. Currently, we are using the free right. That's why it is showing like zero. If you have any uh, need to do payments, you can able to see here. In this current plan, we have these are the options available. Okay. And next one, emails can password authentication. If you want to change any password, you can change it from here and uh, come here and you can change it. And next one, come down a little bit. Remaining options common. Okay, repository, you can create the repository later part. I can showcase you. And here, if you want to set up any two-step two verification, two-factor authentication to securely connect the, your uh, GitHub, you can set up if you want. Okay, next one we have an op option right here developer settings. Click this developer settings. Here, instead of connecting uh, with username password, for example, you are connecting in local, so one of the repository. If you want to connect from local, you have to connect through either username password or you can create a token. But as per GitHub, uh, I think 2021, August 14, I think after August 14. It is not supporting username password. You should be use personal access token. Using this personal access token, you can able to 
push the code from local to remote. So here you can click uh, personal token. We have uh, two options. One is a uh, fine grain tokens. Currently it is beta mode. And we have a uh, tokens classic. Click this classic. And here uh, generate a new. Click the generate new token. Click. Now you, you can you can give here, for example, I'm giving Murli. And this particular token, what are the permissions uh, when it should be expired? For example, I, uh, we have a minimum is seven days and uh, maximum is no expired also you can set up if you want. Okay, currently, example, I, I set this seven days. And here, you can set what are the permissions you have to provide this particular uh, token. I'm giving all the permissions. All the permissions means it should be in uh, admin privileges. Okay, create a delete uh, repository, project, everything admin level, everything I'm giving. Just click the generate token. When you click the generate token, it will be generated the token. This token should be stored in somewhere because if I refresh this page again, it, you can't able to see this uh, token. Here it is also showing. Please uh, copy your personal token. You won't be able to see it again. Okay, I'm copying this one just for reference purpose. Letter part. Okay, yeah, I copy. Now I'm refreshing this one. If you observe here, you can't get again that particular token. In case if you want to delete this token, you can click the delete. Then it is asking. I understand delete this token. If you click this one, the token will be deleted. What is right? What are the settings is available here? Profile and repository. Repository or project both are same. Later part, I will show you like uh, how to create. And the next one, settings. Settings also we saw. What are the settings is available? And in the right side, we have an option like a new repository. If you want to create a repository, you can create. If you want to import existing repository, for example, you have a repository in different account. If you want to import, you can import the repository. Okay. Next, if you want to create the organization, remember in real time, you will be create the organization. What is the uses of organization? Organization or group both are same. Here in GitHub, we can call it as organization. Organization is nothing but one group. Inside the group, you can create a multiple repositories, multiple projects you can create. Okay. Example here, I'm giving new organization. Okay. If you observe here, we have a free and the team and enterprise. Uh, Okay, come down a little bit. Okay, for free, join for free. Here I'm selecting join for free. Here it is asking the organization name. Example I'm giving uh, DevOps by Mobley. Okay, it is already taken. Just I'm giving uh, five tools. Okay, if you observe here, the organization name is there. And you have to provide that uh, mail ID. I'm giving here. Equal with more than address Gmail. Okay. And here, this is your personal or business purpose. I'm giving that personal. Okay. Then click the verify. You can uh, select the spiral galaxy. Just click this one and select again this one. It should be good. And one more time. Yeah. Now it should be good. Then click the uh, here. Here by accept. Just click the next. Okay, if you want to add someone, people, you can add it, but currently we don't require, just keep this step. Okay, now come down a little bit, just submit. We don't want to um, uh, provide the, all the details, just click the submit. Okay, currently, this is the, your organization. Inside this particular organization, you can add multiple repositories. Whatever you require, you can create inside. What are the main uses of this organization? For example, we have a 10 members. If you add the 10 members this particular organization group okay whatever is available in this particular group any repositories all the repositories they can able to access okay i will create a repository at that time you will understand what is the major difference uh, uh, organization and uh, creating our my own uh, namespace instead of creating organization what is the major difference okay what did i try? yeah any other question no right uh, next video, I will show you like how you can create a repository also. I hope understand that this video only for to understanding that uh, dashboard, what are the options is available. Okay. And also how we'll be accessing our uh, organization instead of uh, accessing through github.com. If you use enterprise support, we can, you may use like uh, tech world with Murli dot tech world with Murli is a company name dot github.com. Okay. Got it right. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video.